two flies just made the mistake of fucking on my keyboard. That shit doesn't fly with me. They call me the fundraiser. I raise funds, motherfucker. There should be a Google ad popping up somewhere around here. You know what that means? It means I'm raising some motherfucking funds. It's official. The more hits these get, the more money I make. And remember, I have cystic fibrosis, so by watching this, you're technically donating to charity. Could always use some good karma. Donate today! Good job! See, you're doing it right now! Come back and do it again later, because I am fucking broke! You ever go to McDonald's or something and have to watch your friends eat? It sucks! You want a french fry? Yes. Thank you. Operation YouTube Money is going pretty goddamn well, folks. So let's get to the nitty gritty. Fact. The coolest motherfuckers grew up in the 90s. If you're not from our glorious area, then you probably won't like this video. So, farewell. Your one view has been counted. I can care less what you do. It's not our fault we're superior. We just had good fucking television. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Humanoid turtles who eat pizza and ninja fight. What more do you want? The movie was the greatest thing in the history of our universe. Period. If you didn't like Ninja Turtles, then fuck you, fuck your mom, fuck everything you love. You're shit to me. Cowbunga, bitch. Michael Bay, if you fuck these next movies up, I swear I'm removing your balls. Firing my soulmate, Megan Fox, that's fine. I can look past that. But soiling the Ninja Turtle name? You don't even... Oh, you... Oh, don't even get... Oh, fuck. Don't, don't, don't do it, man. Don't do it. Speaking of turtles, let's talk about the poster boy for bad motherfuckers. I'm talking about Blastoise, a giant tortoise with guns coming out of his shell. What the fuck? This is awesome! I'll have the Charmander, though. But if he evolves and starts taking naps and blowing snot bubbles and shit, mouthing off at me, I'm bringing him back, and I want that Bulbasaur you have rotting away in his Pokeball there. Picture this. Your uncle sets you and your dad up to be killed so he can take your dad's job and fuck your mom. No, it's not Hamlet. Let me finish. He has his cronies chase you out of town. You meet two chillin' laid-back dudes who teach you the meaning of life. But in the process, you forget just who you are. Your first love brings you back home where you beat the crap out of your uncle in the middle of a house fire. Epic, huh? That's motherfucking Lion King. You kids can keep your Transformers movies. I didn't see the last one, but I'm pretty sure it didn't end with Optimus landing in Africa segueing into a Beast Wars movie. Fuck Bumblebee, I want Cheetor and Rat Trap! If you don't know what Beast Wars is, or Beasties, Go crawl back under your rock. I hope someone picks it up and drops it on you. Fill in the blank. World Wrestling. Now you decide if you deserve to watch this video. I met a kid who didn't know who The Rock was. What a fucking loser, right? I gave him a rock bottom. No word of a lie. I'm lazy, I'm an asshole, I'm foul-mouthed, and I'm a home wrecker, but I am NOT a liar. If you don't know who The Rock is, someone's gotta lay it the smack down on your Rudy Pooh candy ass. And speaking of SmackDown, that shit belongs on Thursdays! WWF has been shit in the bed since 2003. Don't act like you don't know it. If Cena beats Rock at WrestleMania, Vince McMahon will probably be assassinated. Kids shows today are just awful. They, they try though, they really do. They just don't make writers like they used to. And they won't until my generation is running the world. The day is coming, you just gotta stick it out through the shitty times, man. I feel bad for the kids. Like, they don't have Batman, they have THE Batman, which is... Well, it's not Batman. The last good Batman cartoon was Batman Beyond. Can someone please make that movie? And Static Shock, too. The episode of Batman Beyond where old Jack Static Shock showed up fucked my mind like a $2 whore. At my age, the weekend means getting with friends, picking up a 2-4, getting a little silly, and probably passing out in a pile of piss or puke that may or may not be of my own. Ten years ago, the weekend meant TGIF, one Saturday morning, Kids WB, and the wonderful world of Disney. I get home from a long week and not trying at school, and I want to watch some Family Matters. Teen Angel. Sabrina the Teenage Skank, featuring her two hot aunts. Mother fucking Boy Meets World. Saturday morning, I got a juggle between ABC and WB. And WB had Pokemon, and Pokemon's my shit. I never watched much Digimon or Dragon Ball Z because I believe you gotta pick one Japanese show and stay 100% loyal to it, goddammit! So I missed out on some Doug and maybe some Recess, but I got Animaniacs and Pinky in the Brain instead. You tell me if I missed out. Finished my weekend off with a Disney movie and I am ready to be a dick to my teachers Monday morning. In the video game world today, Bioware is the bee's tits. 
I'm talking 36 double D's on a motherfucking honeybee. Knights of the Old Republic, Mass Effect, and Dragon Age. Excuse me while I jack my dick. But back in the day, it was all about rareware. My Mario Kart is covered in dust, but Diddy Kong Racing gets a thorough workout every day. Remember playing that and wondering who the hell that bear with the backpack was? Just so happened to be the main character of the best fucking games of that generation. Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts never happened. It was all a bad dream, and there is nothing you can do to convince me otherwise. Whole goddamn reason why I bought a 360 in the first place. They followed up Banjo Tooie with the game I'm still dedicating all my free time to, which is all of my time. Too big to be a movie. Too dumb to be a book. Too hairy to be anything but Donkey Kong 64. He's got a goddamn coconut gun. That would kill you. You know how hard it is to crack open a coconut? I was in the Bahamas and spent 20 minutes bashing a coconut over the cement and hitting it with a rock until I resorted to a screwdriver. A coconut versus your skull. You won't be smelling coconut milk, you'll be smelling your own blood. And probably half of your brain. God damn, memory link gives me a hard on. I'm, I'm gonna make a mess of my computer if I don't stop. I'm thinking of having segments on the show, so maybe I'll be back with more reasons why us 90s kids are better than these little shits we have scurrying around today. This is serious now, guys. I need you to like, subscribe, comment, spam this shit around all your friends until they block you from their Facebook newsfeed. As always, thanks for watching Operation YouTube Money. Tune in next time. Different beard time, same beard channel.